Kladde. Let's go! Vocabulary Culture presents review number 27. And today we have Kladde Cat. Kladde? Nah. And right now, let's get this started with. Yeah! I have a story! That's straight! Number one, we have no elementary! Elementary, my dear Watson, like that word. Except in this case, it's the word rudimentary. And so you remember rudimentary? which is an adjective that basically means very, very, very simple, or very prehistoric. And you remember rudimentary? We have rude elementary students. Lots of people at my, at my old elementary school were rude. Like grade 2, grade 4, grade 5, they were really rude. Number two, you have scapegoat, which is a noun that basically means someone that takes the blame of something that they didn't do. So, yeah, you remember scapegoat with goat. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I didn't see the phrase for this one. Rude elementary students using rudimentary techniques to being rude to other people. And so, and for this one, scapegoat with the goat, you remember it like this. Hey, people of the jury, does this goat look like a scapegoat to you guys? Hmm? No? Well, yes, because it's a goat. That is not a good reason, madam. Yeah. Number three, you have scrutinize. It's a verb that basically means to look closely or to like inspect closely. It doesn't really mean you need a um, screw eyes. Like if, if you hate screw eyes, then don't watch this. But uh, I highly recommend you do like this. Like that. It, it doesn't really mean you need screw eyes of actual screws, but it actually means scrutinize to look closely at something. And so you remember scrutinize with screw eyes. You need screw eyes. If you want to scrutinize something, all your uniforms, you need to have screw eyes. And number four, you have segregate. This has been a really big problem for a while now. Lots of people are still segregating other people just because of this. Yeah. So what does segregate mean anyway? It basically means to separate because of one reason. And so you're going to segregate with separate gate. Now, how do you segregate isn't always a bad word, you know? Also, usually it has been used as a bad word. Segregate, you remember segregate with separate gate. The, se the, uh, the horses, the race horses, were always put into separate gates, segregated into separate gates, whatever the race starts. Number five, you have serpentine, which is an adjective that basically means winding, like a serpent. And so you remember serpentine with serpentine. So how does that work? Well, the serpentine just went on the serpentine road at past the speed limit of five billion million quadrillion Googleplex Googleplex miles kilometers per hour. And that's how you do it. And now it's time to go ahead and with number six, somber, which is a word that basically means some bears. No, that doesn't really mean some bears. Somber basically means an adjective that makes you feel lonely or feel sad. That's basically what somber means. Now you remember somber with some bears. Some bears are actually somber when they go into hibernation. That's your phrase. And so number seven, you have sonorous, which is an adjective that basically means making sound, but usually in like a good way. Yeah, I was just being sonorous right there. And so you meant sonorous with snorers. The effects of sonorous snorers. Many people are like while they sleep. And so you remember sonorous with snorers. Number eight, you have spur, which is a verb that basically means to <coughs> spur, which is a verb that basically means to kick up, hit your way, spur no interaction, go ahead, go run, go run, go run. I'm trying to spur him into action to get someone motivating, like, come on, Claude, go, go, go run. Oh, and I didn't spur him. Well, that happens. And now you have spur, remember spur? With spurs. What are spurs? It's basically stirrups. Like the action of doing, like spurring stirrups. Which in the, like, this is how it happens. Now, how do you spur a course? 
by spurring, by kicking on the spurs. Hey, I got spur attacking. Kick. You just spur the horse into action. Number nine, you have spurn, which is basically a spur with an end attached to it. Spurn is a verb that basically means like, no, no, no thanks, no thanks. Like to like say no to someone. So you remember spurn with burn. How do you remember spurn with burn anyway? Well, like this. Let's, when Mike was spurned by his date to a dance, he burned. And imagine two scenes. One, you have to hear a dance, and then the next, like, the date is like, no. And then he's burning literally with fire, like, <laughs> like that. And so the last one, it's stupefy. Ever watched Harry Potter? Well, you might know this spell. One's up already. Three, two, one. Stupefied! Like that, that spell. Well, it basically means, stupefied actually means the same thing what stupefied does. In Harry Potter, the word stupefied would basically do this. It stuns your opponent for a few seconds. Stupefied actually means to stun someone for a few seconds. Although, now, it doesn't have to be with a wand or something. You remember, stupefied with superfly. The kids were stupefied when the superfly stole the birthday cake. Imagine this, four kids about to take a slice of cake, but then the superfly flies in, grabs the cake with one uh, leg, and then flies away with the cake, and not wavering at one single moment. So that's that, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. So until next time, shout out, peace. Claude. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>